Ladies and gentlemen, hello, and welcome to another vloggy vlog. And guess what? This is a camping one. We are camping in the Catskills at the Motorcycle Camping Club headquarters. We're about uh, eh, two and a half to four hours north, depending who riding. Anyway, Moto Noir over here. What's up? High five. We're camping. We're at the Motorcycle Camping Club headquarters in Catskills, New York. And uh, yeah, Ryan is a little bit ahead of me. He came here about two hours ago. And here's already set up. And I have just arrived. So I am gonna set up my tent while Ryan prepares firewood. And then we're gonna cook some sausage. We have what? Your hand drills have been this big. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He just called my handsaw a hand. drill. <laughs> but it's fine. That's no, it's fine. Because you know. Honest mistake. Honest mistake. We're like noob mistake. Do you have gloves? Yep. I have a glove for you if you want. I don't know if you're worthy of wearing one of these, but Oh I brought uh, my old motorcycling gloves, so Yeah. That's that's what these are. Can you believe it? These were like these were the gloves that, that was like this is my hipster glove. They're just work gloves. You, yeah. No, they literally are gardening gloves. <laughs> yeah, right. Lee Parks design. No, no, no. These are great. But like literally this is this is a glove. It's funny. <laughs> I'm telling you, I have uh, work gloves that look exactly like that. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. All right. All right. Enough chit chat. Let's build this mo mo mother tent. Move all this crap over here. And we got uh, we got four big Italian sausages for tonight, and four what are the New York strips? No, some sort of steak, yeah, they were some, sort of some sort of strip something. But this fair grocery store in Hancock had a sale: buy one get one free. So we're like, why get two when you can get four? Four steaks, four sausages, because we're hungry fat boys. <laughs> All right, and I like that you also vlog, so you, like you don't think I'm nuts. Because sometimes if I'm doing this with like people who don't vlog, they're like, "Vas, oh, I gotta cut this part out." They say, "Ducati NYC, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Why you keep talking to yourself? What's wrong with you?" There'll be a point where I'll just show my face and tell everybody my name. But that day is not today. No. Because the mysteries have the excitement. Without the mystery, what do you have? All right, so this is my footprint. Unfortunately, we are on a slope, but it's okay. It's totally all right. First, pull out my tent. I may need another beer. Mm. Budweiser, beverage of the gods. And uh, I also have a one person tent, obviously, but I've been using this two person tent for extra room extra comfort there we go these are the poles yeah and uh, tonight is actually gonna be between 52 and 50 degrees at night which is not that cold but cold enough Cold enough. My sleeping bag is down to 40 degrees. Uh, how? What's the temperature of your sleeping bag? It's not very far down, it's like 40 degrees. Yeah, mine is 40 as well. Yeah. I have one that's 20 degrees, but I don't think it's uh, not appropriate. 
that serious today. Because the 20 degree sleeping bag, I don't even zip it up. Well, 40, I don't really zip up either. Here we go. Here we go. Boom. And rode up here. The ride was fun and quick. Super quick. Maybe a little too quick. But that's what happens when you ride a Ducati. I totally forgot how to build my tent. <laughs> what is wrong with me? That's gotta be dynamite, right? Yeah, that's gotta be dynamite. Far too loud for fireworks. And... Man, the dogs must be bugging out. Ooh, ah. Here we go. All right, so. Time to get some steaks. Boom. Got my hatchet. Boom. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Nectar of the gods. Sweetness. There we go. Let's get into it. Get into it. Boom. Do one more over here. I don't know why I stick down my tarp, but I do. Because we're not expecting any sort of crazy conditions. But let's take it down nonetheless. And besides the steak and sausage, we got Skittles. I like how you totally stole my Skittles idea. Because you know they're the best. Yeah, they were fucking good. They were really good. Last time I had the mixed berries flavor, which is like the best flavor. Today we got the originals, yes. which we're just gonna have to settle. Sometimes you can't get the mixed berry flavor Skittles. No, they're good. But mixed berries where it's at, bro. Come on, don't don't try to tell me. All right, here we go. We set up the, the poles for the action. Just like that. Boom. Now. There we go. Boom. Now, take the last pole, bend it, bend it like Beckham. Have you ever seen Bend It Like Beckham? No. It's actually a really good movie. When did you watch it? Oh, I saw it like years ago. But I, would, I totally was like, what is this shit? And it ended up being a really good movie. It's about this girl who wants to become the best soccer player in the world. And I don't remember if she succeeds, but I'm pretty sure she does. Because <laughs> it wouldn't have made a movie if she failed. And my fly is totally open. I didn't, I didn't uh, understand the reference when the movie came out. Well, Beckham can do the curve. When he kicks the ball, he can put a curve on it. Again, American football. Oh. Now you know David Beckham, right? I did not understand the reference. Do you know Beckham? I know Beckham. But that movie came out like years ago. Right. Well, that movie is also uh, not an American movie. No, I know. Right. British, right? Yeah. 
but check it out bro now that you're a mature adult maybe you your tastes have increased can just watch horror flicks all day that's literally my least favorite kind of movie is like scary movies I know My parents used to watch a shit ton. Like I've seen Friday the 13th when I was like 12 years old <laughs> and I hated it. Like that scene with the waterbed. What? You didn't like it? Oh well, no no. I was scared. I was like freaking out. Fucking Freddy. It's all fun and games until you die. You know? That's what happens in scary movies. The fucking Johnny Depp. It's like almost like real life. <laughs> Look how hard our life is. Our life is no walking park. No, but at the same time, we got a blessing of having dope ass motorcycles and going camping. Oh, yeah, Which is, you know, obviously we all don't take it for granted, but. It is a nice thing. And the best part, when we're done camping, we get to return to New York motherfucking city. Which, by the way, is not dead. I've had some people leave comments being like, is that true? I, I, I saw some article. About what? You haven't read that article? About what? About New York City being dead. Oh, there's lots of articles. Well, no, there's this one specific dude. Uh... And I've read that like piece I of shit. Yeah. No, no. He's like, like, he's like, most of my friends who came to New York at the same time as me have all moved to Maine and California. And I'm like, <laughs> if you're the kind of person who's gonna fucking move to Maine or California, you were gonna do that no matter what. Right. You wouldn't. You were gonna do it next year. Right. Like, I love Maine and I love California, but if you moved to New York and left to California, then. That's like a huge change, you know? But just because you are, are thinking about do doing it doesn't mean that New York is dead. Plus, how is California in a better shape than New York anyway? It's not. The fucking place is on fire. You know? Yeah. And they still have COVID to deal with. And it's expensive as shit. Yeah. I would imagine New York is just as expensive as California. San Francisco is more expensive. Right. Yeah. In Maine, it's like, bro. Like, if you want to live in Maine, you're a whole other person. Because you better be some outdoorsy motherfucker. Because <laughs> if you're not into outdoors, Maine is not for you. That's the biggest draw of Maine. Like, seclusion and beauty. Maine is one of my favorite states as far as, like, nearby to New York. Yeah, many times. One of my first long rides after I got my motorcycle was through Maine. I went to visit my buddy in Portland. Yeah. Fucking awesome. Yeah. Amazing. Maine, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Vermont, all those states are f amazing. One could ride like New York State forever and never run out of places to see. What is going on? Why am I having so much difficulty today? There we go. Yeah, for some reason I'm not on top of my camping game. Which is okay. All right. So now we clip on our rain fly, just like Sue. Just like low. Whoa. Here we go. And then after this, we just gotta blow up the mattress. 
the pillar and unfold the sleeping bag and and then we're pretty much set as far as tent setup goes there we go pretty sweet I need one little stake over here to stretch this part out just like so sweet looking tough unfortunately I'm like basically blocking our whole yeah because I can't really tarp it out here oh well, I could I guess it's all right Morning, have to go pee, trip, fall down the fucking hill. Right. He'll just hear, oh, oh. Help! <laughs> no, I'll just tuck him in. It's all right. I don't need to stake him out because I'm not a nerd. Only a nerd stake out the little entranceway. What are you, a nerd? Because I live in a, I'm gonna be in a single person tent, not a lot of room in there. Psh. Psh. Well, your Yamaha is not powerful enough to carry a two person tent? No, my bags weren't big enough. Psh. <laughs> Psh. Should have bought a Ducati, all that torque for extra carrying capacity. That's why I got mine, because I was like, I know I'm gonna be hauling. A, a, a full man size tent. Oh, Ducati NYC. Nice shirt, by it. the way. Look at that shirt. Look at that. DuckNYC.com. <laughs> by now. I feel bad. Like, I didn't even give you, I didn't even give you like a bro discount or anything. You had to pay full price for that shirt. Because I didn't tell you I was buying it. Oh, true. I'm sure if I would have said, hey, bro. I would have been like, wow, you don't want to support, you don't want to let me make 40 cents on the transaction. I'm trying to eat. It would have been bad. I'm trying to make that 40 cents, bro. 40 cents, that's My favorite is when people say, do you do this vlogging stuff full time? And I'm like, I trust me, I wish. I wish. I would love to do this all the time. Right, but my parents would definitely kick me out of their basement if I was making 30 cents a month. Yes. This is literally the hardest part of setting up tent. The camping site is this. Did you get a pillow? Yes, I did. Oh, look at you. Yeah. You leveled up from last time. Yeah, last time Ryan and I, because uh, because you came with you didn't have a seat, chair. No chair, no hatchet, no no stove. I had a sleeping pad, but it fucking sprung a leak. Yeah, that sucks. Is this one holding? Yeah, I got it. Maybe you're just too big, like big boned. All right, almost done. Here we go. One of the final steps here, you open up your stupid little tent. Yes, yes. My lamp has been inside my tent for fucking ever. I found it, it's here. I mean, we knew it. But also when I put it in there, like I was like, well drunk. <laughs> yeah. That thing could have been anywhere. All right, here we go. And this is my sleeping bag. And this sleeping bag I actually bought in Walmart for like $20. Just goes to show that you don't need some fancy ass sleeping bag. Well, I mean for the summer, I guess. Cause I'm sure this bag would fail if I actually was cold. 
I'd, I'd be like, why did I spend $20 in Walmart? No, but I bought this bag out of necessity because I, I rented a cabin and I didn't realize there was no fucking bed inside. I was like, how do you, how is our cabin with no bed in it? There was no bed in the cabin? Yeah. Literally, but I checked the listing and it, it literally said like there's a table that you can convert to. You basically sleep on top of a table. Oh, okay. Like a uh, dining, yeah. I mean, it was awesome. I literally was like in the middle of like New Hampshire somewhere, like, don't by a river. Don't feel bad about me. You hear that again? I feel like that's gunfire. That one was, but the one that we heard earlier. Yeah, the one we heard earlier, that was like that's the fucking extinction level event. <laughs> For real, Zeus. All right, let's see. It's really unfortunate because we both have skillets. I literally brought seasonings, olive oil, like I brought like three different seasonings. And in the, oh no, no, oh, I got steak seasoning for the steak. Oh, okay, perfect. One of those, like, what do you call it, Monterey, whatever? Yeah, good. Dope, good. Yeah. All right, so one of the final steps, which I always do, is clean up the goddamn site. Because technically we're in nature. So I take all my shit and put it together. Um, yeah, people are, it's I think they're just having fun. Cause I, I, is it hunting season? I mean, probably. Yeah. All right, so I got my hoodie. Once it gets cold, I got this, I got that. Oh, that's my phone. Way down there. What else do I need? I have little fire starter blocks if we need them, but. Oh yeah, that's my next purchase. Bug assault. Remember I told you about yeah. that? Yeah, it's still in my cart. <laughs> and but, uh, just for the record, there is no internet here, see? There's no service, there's nothing. So when you come to the Moto Camping Club, you're cut off, you're cut off from reality. Good luck. No, none of the Instagrams or the yeah. Facebooks. No Instagrams, no Facebooks, no, no Tinders or Grinders. None of that. All right, so now that I've showed you my setup, it's time for me to have another beer and sit down for a minute. After which, I may or may not pick up with you fine people. Thank you so much for watching yet another Ducati NYC camping experience vloggy vlog. Yeah, I've showed you guys this lamp. Does it still work? Oh my God, it's still got battery in it. Woo. Good. Yeah, this thing was like, because I, when was the last time I camped? We camped, what, like three weeks ago? Yeah. Yeah. You so. Need to charge that thing? Probably. I'll charge it. I got my battery. Because that's basically it. Like now we're just going to gather firewood, cook food, and charge our devices. Word. You know, it's like, yeah, right. it's like, that's the end of our night. I think I'll just charge my <laughs> phone for no reason. Okay. All right. I'll talk to you guys soon, okay? Bye.